Hey, how's everyone going today? So I've decided to finally make a video on how to program NOS trunking for a Motorola system. Now this is going to be on 7800 megahertz because VHF and UHF have some crazy band plans at times and unless you don't have unit trunker running or unless you have unit trunker running and you know what the band plan is then you're not going to be able to figure it out just on the web. But 7800 megahertz are the easiest. So with that being said, let's dive into it. So right now, as you see, I'm just going to use the eSpace system. I know it says it's a Phase 2 system, but uh, some of the stuff on it is still FDMA, so we can go with that. So you'll notice it says HAX for 1 Frank 1 and BEE00 for the Wacken. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our code plug, open up Trunking. Trunking System 1, we're going to put the 1 Frank 1 right here under Home System ID, and then... Home Wacken ID will be BEE00, like it's on Radio Reference. You don't need to mess with Unit ID, and Smart Zone can be enabled. Unless it's not a Smart Zone system and there's only one site you're listening to, then you just leave it disabled. After that, we're going to go over to Astro25 Channel ID, and this is where we're going to put the band plan. Now note, with the 800 megahertz only system, you only need this the band plan for 800, but I always like to have 700 just in case things get added in the future. And since the eSpace system is 700 megahertz, we're going to put that as well. So with that being the case, 12.5 is always going to be channel bandwidth, plus sign 30.0 for transmit offset, 6.25 for channel spacing, and 762.00625 for the base frequency. It'll pretty much mimic the 800 other than this part right here, and then the minus sign. So minus 45, 6.25, That will all be the same for 800, unless it's a TDMA system. This will then go to 12.5. So. All right, so after you've done the band plan, we're going to go to Astro. 7800 900 Astro 25 control channels. As you'll notice right here, I already have them entered in. And right here is where you select which is for the band plan. So one is 800 and two is 700. So you'll see that's why it goes in the red. After you've put all the, put all the control channels in here, the blue and the red, or red and blue, however you want to go about it, you want to go to Astro 25 and make sure that these two are not selected. So deselect those and then we'll move on. So now we're going to go to personality. You want to make sure that uh, you see there's only one system and ID you can select. Scan is giving us a bad time right now because there's an error. We'll fix that in a minute. And then we'll go to talk group. And if you see, I entered in four talk groups. That's where the hex goes. On the apex line, you can put the hex or the decimal. It doesn't matter. So after you've done that, then we want to go down to scan, scan list, select talk group. And then down here, you want this to be operator select and selected channel. So there's no way to be able to talk back. And there's nothing else to do with that. Now we want to go up to conventional, and you only need one conventional personality, but you need the trunking personality scan list and the conventional personality scan list to be the same. Make sure this is receive only, and Astro is set up so you don't get birdies on the analog side of things when you're sitting on the conventional for non-affiliate scan. After you've done that, we're going to go over to zone. There's going to be two zones. You can have more than that, but you have to have the first zone, which is going to be all conventional type right here. As you can see, you can select trunking, but it needs to be conventional for the first zone. That way, you can do the operator select from non-affiliate, from the conventional side of things and select the trunking from the next zone. So conventional personality one, because there's only one personality. You'll see I'll scroll, scroll over to zone two, and I have PD, SO, and FD. So there's actually four. I'll make another one. FD2. And this is where you select talk, uh, trunking. 
it was Trunkin Personality 1, there is no other personalities, and then Talk Group 4, which entered it in. You don't have to mess with anything right here. So after you've done that, say that you have your 16 conventional, and then say 20 or 16 trunking, you can make more trunking zones. You can add as many as you want until the radio won't allow it. So let me erase that. So you notice there's only two zones right now. After you're done doing that, then you're going to want to go up to radio configuration under controls, and this is for a 5000, so you're going to notice that I have light, keypad, nuisance delete. I did it for both, just out of habit, because I program legit my radios too. And then you don't need the top button to be anything. Now on the five, on the 2500, you'll need it to be the scan button, but not on this radio, because it's already got the concentric switch you're going to use for that, which is under switches. You'll see blank at the top, and then scan at the bottom, and then the three position, A, B, and C, needs to be blank. You cannot do trunking. You cannot use zone at all to go into the trunking zones, or you'll actually affiliate. We want to go to here to menu items, and we want to select program, and then delete this, whatever's in there. So we want program, definitely want battery and clock. And let's see, is there anything else? Oh yeah, mute. That's important. So mute will go usually there, and that's how it's set up. Don't worry about this stuff in the trunking side. There's no need for it. You won't go to it. Make sure these are selected, ID display and scan ID display. And then under advanced, auto light and emergency call receive. And that will allow, it'll show on your screen that another radio has gone into emergency status. After that, I usually go into radio wide and I'll do power up on last selected zone and channel you don't need this to be like that you don't need to touch any of this stuff um, emergency doesn't need to be selected so man down will usually be selected you can deselect it alert tones I like to have power up self alert tone scan alert tone play it yada 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 that kind of stuff um, there's really nothing else you need to do in this area so after you've done all that, so you have your trunking system made, all set up correctly. You have your personality set up where it's hooked to the same scan list. See, I didn't do it. And you have the talk groups. Then you go down to here to zone. Make one zone with 16 channels with just conventional on that one personality. Like you saw, there is no personalities other than one. And then zone channel two will where you be where you put the talk groups. So obviously it's trunk and personality one, one through four. And that's it. And like I said, if you want to do more, you can always do more. You can always add to that. Now I know a lot of people are going to say, well, what about the below 17? So you can't get to it. Well, as long as your radio doesn't have the menu or correction, the zone or channel button in here, you won't ever be able to get to that stuff in the second zone. The radio will only consider the first zone. And because the A, B, and C isn't set up that way either, you won't get to it. But when you do program the radio this way, you're going to hit that menu option. I'll show you real quick. You're going to go into, on the radio, when you, when you finally program it, You'll see program. You'll hit that twice when you hit it on the keypad on the radio when it's programmed with this. And then you can use the scroll keypad to go to your right, which will allow you to go from... It'll start out on being whatever channel this is on the conventional, and you just scroll over, and you'll see, oh, there's PD-1, and you hit the select button. Oh, there's FD-1. I want that too, but I don't want SO. So you can select two things. You can select one thing. It doesn't matter. The XTS can do up to 10 talk groups in one scan list. Once you're done with that, is hit the home button and turn the scan button on, whichever is the concentric switch or the man down button, whatever you've set it up for. And that's about it. If you guys have any questions, you can always ask Mark, and he will forward them to me if there's something he can't answer on the fly.
thank you very much for watching.